Now, if you've been watching this particular video where I've been talking about this ceiling fan, 15 seconds, how to fix a feeling, ceiling fan in six, 15 seconds, uh, there's one more thing I want to talk about. This ceiling fan does not have. Right now, it's just got two cords here. One is high, medium, and low, off, and the other cord is to direct this ceiling fan in towards the right or to the left on the fan blades, okay? Now, that's all they have. So every time they want to adjust this, like in the winter, they get to the point where this is sucking up and then they set and then something happens where, oh, it's too hot um, or, or whatever, let's turn it down after we get it right. Let's say the fireplace is off now. Let's say this room is still uh, heated up properly. What you can do is you can turn that ceiling fan down to low speed. That's what I would do. But they got, they got to get up there. And, and let me show you. Let me show you if I can even reach that. I don't even know if I can reach that. Steve is a lot taller than I am. See this here? I cannot reach it unless I step up here to do that. I can't do that every time. I can't expect somebody to have to do that every single time they want to get up to their ceiling fan or, or pull a little ladder out, step stool to turn that. So here's another thought for you that you can do. This ceiling fan it still looks in pretty good shape. There's no reason why they should have to replace that with one that you can now adjust at the wall switch. This wall switch is just on and off, okay? One way is off, this is off. Okay, it's starting to slow down right now. Okay, see there? That's it. There's no adjustment speed here. There's no fan speed. If you had something like that right there, you can do it a different way. Now, that different way is you can take that top trim off way up there at the ceiling. Okay, that's where the wiring is and all that. Of course, to get up there from here, this would have to be off. You'd have to take one ceiling fan blade off so you can get up there with a the ladder, get up there, take that off, and get to the wiring. Then you can buy a remote control for, your, for a fan. You buy uh, a handheld remote control module that you can hook right on, the, right on the wall here in a little thing and then just pull it out and hold it or you can set it over here on the table by your chair, your favorite chair, whatever. And then you can remotely control this on, off, high, medium, low speed, reverse direction, all that. You've got to put a module up in the ceiling right there. And that comes with it for about 50 bucks. I've seen them at the hardware store. You rewire the module and you slip it up in there above that cover, put the cover back on. It's very easy to do. Most ceiling fans, you can do this. Okay, and then you have the remote control and voila, everything works. Or you can actually get, if you don't want that, if you want a three speed thing here, uh, you can put that in. That has the, the little remote control in it, but you still, and then that would come with the module that you still have to put way up high. And that's something you can do pretty easy on a ceiling fan, then you don't have to get up there. You can sit in your favorite chair, you can adjust that for high, medium, and low. In the summer, you can make it go the right direction that you want, and in the winter. Okay, so there's a tip for you. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.